Hey everyone, this is CEO 100 Evil, and today I'm going to start making some monitor demonstration videos. What you're looking at right now is the ASUS 23.8 inch 1080p HD monitor. Oh, sorry about that. My camera keeps moving on my tripod because it appears to be loose. And it's it's a very good quality monitor for her high definition stuff. And the computer that I want to test this on is my HP Pavilion P6230F PC. Yep, now that I have a Windows 10 computer, a custom built one, this is not my main computer anymore. But I can still use it to do, um, to do whatever I like on here. So, without further ado, let's get started. And first, let's turn this computer on. <laughs> it's just to, so I can begin showing you how this works. And there's the HP uh, splash screen, but there appears to be black borders on the sides. And there's the boot screen. I don't see any black borders. That's good. Hmm, there's the black borders again. It's almost done booting up right now. And we have finally made it to the desktop. But the icons need to load up at this point. Although they actually look like they have fully loaded up. But they'll just refresh. Whoa. Sorry about that. Hmm, this looks, um, not bad, but with those black borders, um, it makes some um, this screen, um, it makes the desktop screen kind of different, the way it's viewed. So let's go over to the control panel and see what we can do about this problem. Let's go to adjust screen resolution. Hmm. The resolution says 1920 by 1080 recommended. It has automatically switched to this recommended resolution because I mainly use a standard definition monitor on here. In case you're wondering, the monitor that I mainly use on this computer is an MEC Multisync 90GX monitor. It's a very good quality monitor, and I've had that monitor for many years. And good for things that are fully optimized for standard definition. Looking at this default resolution, I'm very surprised because that's the, the main resolution that this monitor is fully optimized for. And it was also because of all those some black borders being shown. I'm not sure why they're being shown because when I when I use this on my Windows 10 PC, which is where I mainly where I mainly use on my Windows 10 PC on, it never happened. So let's just um, click cancel for now because I don't think there's anything else I can do about fixing it. So overall, not bad, but. It should have been filled all the way to the edges of the actual monitor. So let's go ahead and shut down this computer because I'm done now. Hmm, that's weird. Let's just force this to shut down. Okay, there we go. So I'm. I'm only keeping this monitor up here for a little while on this old desk. And the shutdown process is complete. So what I'm going to do with this monitor next is to disconnect it and, and take it back to my new desk so I can continue using it on my, my Windows 10 PC, the custom built one, and then put the NEC standard 
definition monitor back onto to this old desk and then reconnect it to this computer. So, and also this HP computer does not have HDMI connectors on the rear, so I have to use an HDMI to DVI converter instead. The picture is still good, though. Well, that'll be it for this demonstration video still, so goodbye everybody, and that's about it.